Mississippi is under a state of emergency with the storm increasingly looking like it's going to impact that state's coastline. Uh, Lauren Bale joins us live from Bay St. Louis with an update on preparations there. Lauren. We are dealing with long gas lines here right now. We're in Hancock County at the intersection of Highway 90 and 603, and it is packed here at this gas station. Everyone taking this chance to fill up before the storm gets here. Now, because there are so many people here using this gas station right now, uh, it is taking the gas a long time to get into the cars. The pumps are running very slow at the moment. I spoke with one man who said it took him around five to 10 minutes to fill up his gas tank. So that's what they're dealing with here. Employees tell me that um, for the last couple of days, they've been seeing people come in and get gallons of water. But today is the first day that they've really seen these gas lines start to form. Uh, everyone is being pretty patient, um, getting their gas. We spoke to some other people, We've got some kids there. Um, we've been talking to people who are getting their gas and they say that they're doing all the other um, you know, basic precautions. They're getting their water. They're getting their generators ready to go. There are six sandbag stations throughout uh, the county. Now we went by one of those earlier and it was empty. There was no one there, but that's definitely not the case here where we have um, all these people waiting in line to get gas. Now there is a voluntary evacuation for people in this county that are in low lying areas, especially people in uh, trailers or that are near Bayou, uh, Bayou Creeks or along the river. So they, uh, officials are urging people that live in those areas to get out uh, before the storm gets here. And we'll be here throughout the rest of the evening. We'll keep you updated on the situation. For now reporting live from Hancock County, Lauren Bale, Eyewitness News.